Oh, hey, New York says Bloomtown. Despite high-profile failures, Bloomberg has remade the city. Really? He remade the city. Now, do you think they mention anywhere in the paper that this billionaire gave this paper and its owners and their other papers tens of millions of dollars in cash, both his own cash via advertising, etc., from his campaigns and so on, so on, so on, because he spent more money than anybody else in American history, actually Earth's history, to win a municipal seat. It's called bribery anywhere else. Uh, maybe not on planet Earth, but in planet reality, giving millions of dollars to your opponents to buy them off is called bribery. But nowhere in there do they mention. They, they didn't think it was interesting until there is. Just to let you know, full disclosure, he gave us tens of millions of dollars. Oh, even worse, he used tax dollars to bribe these people because he can choose which papers to put city advertising, things like that. And if the paper criticizes the mayor, well, guess where he doesn't place city ads? That's right. It's called Nazi corruption. Hitler did all this shit. Boss Tweed did all this shit. Bloomberg is a fucking super Nazi, and I can prove it with 500,000 points, and no one will fucking tell the truth. Disgusting. Mike's got Veep appeal. Same paper, different day. Whoa, they're pushing Mike Bloomberg for vice president. I don't remember the candidates talking about Mike Bloomberg for vice president. So why is everybody in New York City talking about Mike Bloomberg for vice president? Mike Bloomberg for vice president. It's called The Emperor Has No Clothes. Everyone sucks him off, hoping to, that he'll bribe them and bribe them and bribe them. Mike Bloomberg likes to give money to his friends and he throws money around because nobody likes the guy. He's got no personality, no intelligence, no integrity. He buys everyone off using my tax money and your tax money. He buys everyone off using his own money, which is all stolen money. And as usual, no opposing view. Well, that's a pretty big article. Mike's got Veep appeal. What the fuck does that do? If they choose him, then write about it. You can, that's legitimate. If they choose him as vice president, write about it. If they don't choose him for vice president, why are you fucking writing? They spent hundreds of millions of dollars in ink to give this piece of shit article after article about running for president. He never ran for president. That was all promotional, corrupt bullshit. Remember, reporters are the enemy of the human race. Emily, would you care to explain it? Fucking crooks. This, the Associated Press obviously is, is practically CIA run right from the office. NYPD patrol car strikes, kills man. New York City police car struck a 63-year-old pedestrian crossing a Brooklyn street in the middle of traffic. So he must have been hard to see if he was crossing in the middle. Um, wow, he was struck. Uh, it usually, if it's a civilian who hits somebody with a car, they say if the person was charged, if the person was at fault. They seem to leave that out very often with when police kill people. Why do you think that is? Any hunches? Like this, every day, every single newspaper says the mayor's a scumbag and the mayor failed everything, but they just don't use the words the mayor. They pretend it's some uh, bizarre cloud of fog that just happened to sweep in. AM New York, worship City Hall, kisses its ass endlessly. Even if, they, even if they expose hundreds of scandals by City Hall, they don't link them to City Hall. Heroin use on the rise in New York. Oh, how's that possible? Our mayor spends hundreds of billions of our tax dollars fighting the war on drugs. The headline, if heroin use is on the rise in New York, the headline has to be world's largest police force fails with their war on drugs. Because that's what this actually says. But people don't read between the lines and they know people don't read between the lines. Giuliani declared war on heroin use and you all, all the media said he succeeded. He was a super crime fighter. Well, now they're saying the exact opposite. The difference is they're not going to link it to Giuliani. You see? That's another trick you're always going to see by the media. They contradict themselves in every single paper because they're fucking professional liars. Uh, U.S. soldiers um, shot and killed a, a Reuters journalist. Ha ha. They say it was justified because they, uh, they saw a camera and thought it was a weapon. That's cool. All of you have the right to shoot a journalist. Their pen. You could have thought it was a knife. That's according to our government. The Defense Department, for instance, I'm not going to argue with them. Doozy, in the old paper I used to write for, which is a piece of shit, but once in a while a good article will slip in. Here's a story about Bloomberg's Parks Commissioner, who's a fucking criminal. This is the scumbag who helped mutilate and burn little children, knew it was happening, didn't do anything, and burned and mutilated a whole bunch more children. 
and that's just one of hundreds of thousands of crimes by this criminal. He spent millions of tax dollars to destroy healthy, mature trees all over the city of New York. He's a fucking serious fucking criminal who could be put in jail a thousand times over. What's in interesting about this article is this is his own dad who used to uh, fight for the city's parks. And his dad, his own dad, says his son is a fucking scumbag criminal. And no one will hold this criminal accountable. No one. All the newspapers say he's great. Just like all the newspapers said Adolf Hitler was great. They all said Dick Cheney was great. They all said Giuliani was great. Forget this clown. This clown could not commit one single crime if not for the fact that he knew that all journalists are fucking liars. Now when I say all journalists, I don't mean all. I mean 99%. I'm generalizing. Pardon me. There are a few good journalists out there. But even, uh, it doesn't make a difference. Journalists, as a rule, are fucking criminals. There are exceptions to the rule. But as a rule, they are the number one criminals on earth. If you don't fight back, you can't complain about any problems in the world.